what's up you amateurs or was geht ihr amateur or que pasa aficionados for our German and Spanish audiences for which I know there are scores, scores of. We're a worldwide pod, but our first and almost always our foremost preference is amateur football here in Adelaide, South Australia. Uh, round one, she's done in the books. Big round, some big results. We say it all the time, but yeah, man. Some very interesting football happened over the weekend. I lost 3-0. We're back, baby. We're back. I'm back on the pod. I lost. It's just we are. We could be living in a simulation. Who knows, amateurs? But nonetheless, we're going to go through the round one action that was over the weekend. We've got some very, very dynamic content coming in from Matt Peel Match Day Productions. A new, a new incentive of that amateur amateur football realm amateurs as the algorithm always dictates we seem to always start with our good friends over at USC Lions Soccer Club led by David Eggers uh, and they came up against the mighty mighty Adelaide Titans uh, it was our match of the round, so if you haven't caught up on that action yet, go check it out. Shout out Matt Pill, of course, as always. Very good game. It looked like the Titans were Titans were on top for most of it. Um, some unbelievable football was played. It started 10 minutes in with that man again, Zach Alevi, who's pretty dark with me at the moment for casting him aside and uh, not having him as player of the year or top goal scorer. But you know what? I'm, ch- I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. You know, I'm moving on. Anyway, he scored 10 minutes in, and then it was Tucky Sialafos 10 minutes later. 2-0 to the Titans. They were playing great footy. We'll get into it a little bit later. Um, my good man Petros sent me in Zach's goal as a Pegas- Pegasports Goal of the Week submission, so uh, we'll get into that. Next game, it was Gleason's debut in the Saturday Premier Division Amateurs. They're finally out of my hair. They're finally, you know, the nightmares are over, to quote Clone Wars there for the, the real, real battlers. They got off to a 1-0 start thanks to Marco Balsamo, Balsamo rather, 33rd minute. And then Bossa, their opponents, responded through my boy Isaac Giristante, the bagger. He got a goal just five, just two minutes later rather, and it was 1-1 between Gleason Football Club and Bossa. Good start for those two sides. Look forward to seeing them in action this week. And then Modbury Jets, good golly. You wouldn't believe it, not one. But two red cards for them. Robert Williams getting himself sent off in the 29th minute. Two yellow cards. It was all happening. Ben Cross got himself an own goal. So that put Pitbulls 1-0 up. And then Pitbulls got themselves a red card just before halftime. Would have loved to have seen this affair. Looked like a, it was a bit of passion getting around. Uh, Fraser Bray in the 60th equalized for Modbury Jets. And then, would you believe it, Patrick Poor for Pitbulls. Put him 2-1 up in the 92nd minute. It's done. It's in the books. Pitbulls, three points. You silly fool. Modbury Jets responded with two goals in the 94th and 99th minutes. Goals went to Daniel Ricard and Bradley Bucock. Absolutely unbelievable character from the fine folks over at Modbury Jets. Shout out to Paul Simpson for constantly, year after year, finding a way, amateurs, to just get results. And that's really what amateur football is is all about. Anyway, we move on to Iggy's with a huge statement victory over South Coast United. Shout out to Burt Fuda, first game for the club. What a result that is. Things got off to a good start. 57th minute, Lachlan, Stephen slash Stefan, and then Julian Tataro. Tits got the goal in the 89th minute to seal the deal. Lachlan Stephen got himself a red card as well. Busy day for him. He's got the week off. What a result for Iggy's at home. We hope they can absolutely go on to great things this year, amateurs, as I'm sure they will. Led by the great man, Bert. And then another team re-entering the Division 1 fray thanks to Michael Spiro's unbelievable managerial work last year, amateurs. Nearly misspoke there, we moved. St. Peter's, 2-0 victors over Stur. Marion, the goals came from James Theophanos and Harry Drayton unbelievable result for St. Peter's. They're off to winning ways. I'd like to congratulate Spiro on his first win in the Premier Division. And then amateurs, 
the dreaded moment for me personally as we come on over to Division 2 Saturday. It started with Adelaide Blue Eagles entering Division 2. I'm not sure if it's for the first time, but certainly the first time in a while. They've come up from Division 3. And shout out to Dribble. There's no goal scorers. 3-3 draw with Adelaide University Soccer Club. That's a huge result for Blue Eagles in their debut game this season. And then it was Monarchs showing those bloody Sterling boys how it's done. 3-0. 3-0. Once again, no goal scorers. Thank you, Dribble. Monarchs, 3-0 over Sterling Districts. Interesting game. We had a bit had a bit of possession, but we did absolutely with it. All good. We move forward. Adelaide Red Blue Eagles. Going against the narrative a bit. There's a few, you know, a few murmurs going around. You come down from Div 1. Players do this, players do that, whatever. Bloody statement from Adelaide Red Blue Eagles. Shout out to them. They managed to be Adelaide Pumas 4-1. And if you've been keeping up with Adelaide Pumas amateurs, which I all know you have, I know you've been, you've been watching the forums, you've been looking at their results, you've been watching the games, they have been doing pretty damn well. So that is a huge result for Adelaide Red Blue Eagles in their 4-1 victory over Adelaide Pumas. I'm not going to bother with dribble for these, these ones amateurs. I'll just do it for Sunday Prem because I'm tired of getting my heart broken. And then Croydon Cougars. It doesn't feel it. Look, I'll be honest. It doesn't fill me with joy to say this, amateurs, but I think Croydon Cougars will be there or thereabouts this year. They're a very, very strong side. Good football, physical, big, strong. Yeah, they're they're a tough test. And they got their season off to a cracking start over MA Hawks. 2-0 to the mighty, mighty Croydon Cougars. Look forward to playing them. And then Division 3. It was Salisbury Villa, who in my personal, professional opinion, were very, very unlucky to get relegated from Division 2 last year, but they got things off to a flyer over there at Reg Groth Reserve. Uh, 2-0 over Anglevale, who, of course, have both a Sunday and a Saturday team. Do your own research there on that front, amateurs. And then the Dragon Derby. And no, it's not, not a piece of niche anime that I'm recommending for you. It is ADFC versus Adelaide Dragon Sporting Club. One of my favorite derbies in amateur league football, amateurs. Ah. It was 3-3 between ADFC and Adelaide Dragons Sporting Club over there at uh, Andrew Smith Drive. So uh, shout out to those two teams. We made the best Dragon win. And then Fizzy, strong performance over Murray Bridge United. We played Murray Bridge in preseason. They got plenty about them. They got plenty about them. But it was Fizzy on the day who were too strong. 5-2 5-2 victors over Murray Bridge. And then BIH United, 5-0 victors over Prince Alfred. BIH, they've picked up some players. They're looking good. They picked up Alec Athanasu. Did I try and pick him up for Sterling? Yes. Does this impugn me as maybe a man that can't close the deal? Yes. Am I cut? Yes. Am I going to move on? No. Anyway. 5-0, and I believe Alec did get himself a goal. So cheers, Alec. Hope you're doing well. Still cut, though. All good, we move. And then, if it isn't Division 4, and amateurs, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Strathalbyn Strikers last season only managed to accumulate one point. Well, gosh darn it. They've done it. First round, they've picked up a point against Brothers United, the Nepalese club. They're doing great things over there at Brothers United. I'm heading to Nepal later this year. Maybe we can do some sort of shirt swap scenario. Nonetheless, 3-3 between Brothers United and Strathalbyn Strikers. Absolute cracker. And then Old Ignatians in their Division 4 side came up against Western United. And it was Western United, 6-0 victors over there at Margaret Bond over there. And, uh, and then a bit of a, uh, what do you call it? Hills Flurio Derby in the wake of Gather Round. What a weekend it was, amateurs. FC Summit. They came up against the Southern Breakers. FC Summit been doing some, uh, well, they've been doing some kind of uh, Fabrizio Romano type business in the fact that they've signed Matt Halliday, one of the best MPL midfielders to grace, to grace South Australian football in the last 10 years. He's playing at FC Summit. Do your own research. They got off to a tough start. They lost 3-2 to Southern Breakers, but from all accounts, FC Summit are on the up. They've got a women's team now as well, amateurs. It's, it's all happening over there at FC Summit. I wish them all the best. Shout out Sean Haim. Shout out everyone over there. So, yeah. Beautiful. And then it is time for the Sunday Premier Division. And I'm really, really, really hoping that there's some goal scorers, man, because otherwise, 
Otherwise, I'm going to just kick off. All good. All good. Thanks, Dribble. All good. T Tree Gully, 3 2 victors over Savoy. My goodness, where's my Savoy cap? Tears somewhere, amateurs. I'll be honest, I only wore it so my hair would sit well. <laughs> Look how that turned out. Tears. But nonetheless, Savoy, tough start. 3 2 loss to T Tree Gully. Great stuff, T Tree Gully. You know, a lot of people, there's a bit of a narrative getting around that they may not be as strong this year. Very, very happy for them. They, they got off the winning, winning ways. Uh, shout out Billy Alotti, as always. Anglevale. They entered the Premier Division fray for the first time in club history this year. Shout out to Matthew Cox, Fox in the Box. He got off to a 2-2 uh, to two -two draw start to his Premier Division managerial career with Ingle Farm, who will be a good side this year. So that's a great start for Anglevale. Uh, yes, well done. Sawsbury Inter, they lost 2-0 to Parry Hills West. Great result for Parry Hills West. Very happy for them. And we hope Sawsbury Inter can bounce back. And then in the other two fixtures, wow, we boy, oh boy, oh golly. It was Para Hills East 5 0 victors over Unley United Soccer Club. We'll have a chat with Andy Sags in the coming weeks about all things Para Hills East. Look forward to that. Um, I hope the chosen one played well. And yeah, basically, yeah. Elizabeth Downs 1 1 draw with Modbury Soccer Club. McGreevy coming back to haunt his old side. That's huge. Okay, beautiful. That's a huge result for Mobbury Soccer Club. Shout out to them. And I'm sure Nullo Secundus, the Downs, will bounce back next week. Amateurs. Division 2 Sunday. And it was quite the occasion down there at the Paradise Primary School main pitch with Adelaide Atletico getting their Division 2 career off to a flying start with a 5-3 win over Parafield Gardens Soccer Club. Shout out Marcus Flores. Shout out... All the people down there at Adelaide Atletico, that's a great, great, great way to start the season. And then in our match of the round, it was Parry Hills United Soccer Club putting aside Elizabeth Vale in a 4-1 victory. That was our match of the round. So please check out the highlights. Shout out to Matt Pill amateurs, you know. Uh, we'll be getting a little bit more into that after but shout out to Parry Hills United shout out to Anthony Camarota and then FK Beograd came up against Southern Knights and Southern Knights death taxes and Southern Knights being an absolute bloody handful they won 3-1 over FK Beograd over there at Frank Mitchell Park shout out Steve Ling and congratulations to our newest member of the Sassel committee Mr. Steve Ling <laughs> Ooh, okay and then West Beach in a little bit of a Western derby, overcoming West Adelaide Raptors 5-4. 5-4, it's, uh, it's a fabled scoreline amateurs laced in history and magic and aura. So that's, that would have been some match, wouldn't it? So shout out to West Beach. The black and red logo, the colors just... Okay, Division 3. Modbury Vista Soccer Club with a strong start to their season. 6-2 victors over the mighty... Seaford Rangers. Uh, shout out to Modbury Vista. AC Unido. I believe this is their first ever game in the third division. They've come to play 7-1 victors over the mighty, 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 mighty Rowe Park United. And uh, yep, Sunday Division 4, Mywand. Very strong start to their year. They were 5-0 victors over Andrews Farm Soccer and Community Club. Uh, Shout out to Andrew's Farm. Shout out to their logo. Hope maybe we could uh, facilitate some sort of uh, merchandise finding its way to me. All good. Macedonia United 5-2 over Shahid Bagat Singh. Massive result for Macedonia United. Shout out to them over there at Brahma Lodge Oval. And the Vukovi, they lost 4-1 to the Cove FC. I believe that's Cove's first ever victory in this particular Association amateurs, so I'm sure it would have been absolute scenes over there at State Sports Park main pitch. Okay, and that's a photo I cooked up of a levy about him turning 30, and it was going to be something about the Philosopher's Stone, and I decided not to use it, amateurs, but there you go. A peek behind the curtain, as it were. Now, amateurs, we are going to trickle on over to the Pegasports Goal of the Week segment. Let's get into it. Amateurs, it's unfortunate the footage doesn't show the rest of the football being played, but just a bit of a lesson from Adelaide Titans. There it is, Zach Levy, calm as you like. 
A bit of a lesson from the Adelaide Titans on how to push the ball around the park. Patience, precision. Oh, it was magnificent. And there he is, Zach Alevi, the would you believe it, 30-year-old. Gosh, doesn't look a day under 25, does he, amateurs? Built like a brick. Looking good is a levy. Calm, patient, two-touch football, quick. Yeah, and then poise. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Petros, for sending in that goal. And we will uh, probably have another revisitation of that in the uh, Match of the Round highlights. Thank you. Amateurs, now we go to PAC. Thank you ever so much, Spiro, for once again setting in the footage, my, my good friend. We have Peter Cicini. Prince Alfred, Old Collegian Soccer Club versus MA Hawks, Div 7. Let's see what we've got going over there in Div 7. Let's go. Chassini. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The, the number 11, the big number 11. The stance, the run up. Top bins. Peter, 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 Peter. Magic. All right, well done, Peter. Cheers, Spiro. We get into the next one, amateurs, and it's from the fine folks over there at Parra Hills United. Thank you ever so much for blessing me with this uh, rugby top, I think is the uh, accepted nomenclature. But, uh, yeah, this young man, Mario Quacanon. Sorry, brother. Hope that hope that flies. This was just, once again, good, honest Football. Don't you ever let anyone say amateur football hasn't got a bit about it. Now, the definition of playing out from the back. Kids, take notes. Centre defensive mid comes and gets the ball deep, drives it. And then it's just calm, wide play, which is exactly what you need as a centre mid. You need, And then look at Mario go. He wants to get forward. Maybe it's just the clip that's gone back there. Calm ball. Times it well. Back to him. Bit of a shank that might hurt them. That might hurt the amateurs, but that is clean, one-touch, calm football. And they're falling apart at the back there. But that is a very, very strong goal and a very, very strong performance from a very, very strong team, amateurs. Now, I'll be going to Pega later this week, and I'll be picking up some, uh, some uh, freshies to show to the camera and throw at it and uh, hit a couple every now and then. But I'm going to give this week's Pega Sports Goal of the Week to None other than Peter Cassini from Prince Alfred College Old Collegians. Yes, PAC. It took it all of last year. I don't know if I ever gave one to you, and I didn't do it. It, it hurt. It hurt to not. It hurt to have to say no every week. It was it was tough. But this week you've done it. You've beaten Zach Levy. You've beaten Mario Quacanon. And you've done it, Peter Cassini. That next free kick's gonna e be even more, be even more top bins because you're gonna be doing a pair of Pega grip socks, brother. Uh, send an email through to info at pegasports.com.au. Size, color, uh, whatever, else, what other info you want to give them. Your star sign, if you wish. And yeah, my boy Costa will sort you the bloody hell out. Now, amateurs. Match of the round. Now, this is the content that I referenced before in terms of dynamic, in terms of something fresh, something interesting. And as is often the case in uh, amateur league football content here in South Australia, Matt Peel's at the heart of it. So thank you, Matt Peel, for adding this to your, uh, to your tasks. Um, we have an interview here from both, from two officials of, uh, of Elizabeth Vale. Parra Hills United before every game this year, amateurs to celebrate Sassel's 60th anniversary. We will be asking a club official, player, coach, president, volunteer, whatever it is, a few set out standardized questions about the club. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a very, very fun, efficient way to, to all come together, educate ourselves, learn, grow about all the beautiful clubs here in our South Australian Amateur Soccer League. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah, uh, the Vale was founded in 1961. 
and uh, we're one of the founding members of the Amateur League um, and we've had our good rich history and good success more so in the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, it's a good family club, it's uh, accepting to everyone um, and uh, it's a good environment with uh, building again and uh, yeah everyone's welcome. Um, with the new coach coming in and we're rebuilding our squad so the goals are obviously always want to push for promotion um, and keep building and get back in that Div 1. Really good, last couple of weeks have been uh, everyone stuck together and we're all uh, looking forward to taking home the three points at our home ground. Uh, Parra Hills United Soccer Club was formerly Parra Hills Junior Soccer Club and it was formed in March 1964, uh, celebrating our 60th year this year in 2024. In 1977 re relocated to the paddocks with the first can time the Kybrim and Canteen opened and in 84 was the first time the full season of operation. Uh, in 1983 also saw Parra Hills amateurs um, rent the club and play on the outside pitch and um, not sure when the amateurs were first formed but I think it was early or late 70s and we folded in the early 2000s. 2011 we had a name change to Parra Hills United um, to become more inclusive of the, of the community and senior women came through the FFSA and to the, yeah, the high, high migraine community and seniors men was bantered around at the time to get us started and in 2016 uh, Parry Hills United was reformed by myself, Adrian and uh, Darren Richardson and um, started off in Div 4 with two teams we've uh, climbed the table we're now in Div 4 and we're boasting four senior sides and one women's side for the FFSA Uh, with our hard-working committee, uh, we really focus on being a family-orientated club. With our new club rooms just opened in 2023, it has attracted a lot of new players and families which will see our club grow into the future. So located at the paddocks is probably one of the best scenery around and it's, yeah, it's a really good spot. Um, our supporters are amazing with a huge following both home and away, you'll probably see that today here against the Vale. And um, appointing Sonny Morrell as our new senior coach in 24 has helped bring in new players. As every team playing in Div 2, our goals for the future are um, getting promoted to Div 1 um, and establishing ourselves there as a high contender and quality outfit and um, also with the new club room just continuing to make that the best place to come and enjoy uh, the families to enjoy themselves. Yeah the boys have had a really good strong pre-season we started probably early January and yeah like I said we're suddenly bringing in new recruits they've trained really hard we played the Templin Cup so we played some quality first division sides and yeah, I think we're all ready for the season ahead. And yeah, we wish for all good luck for the season too. And there we have it, amateurs. An absolute delight to hear from those two chaps about their clubs and their goals, aspirations, histories, and everything else in between. Now let's trickle on over back to Saturday and hear from a couple of absolute goats. Yeah, USC Lions Soccer Club was founded in 1951 um, by immigrants from uh, Ukraine. In uh, 1952 we joined the South Australian Soccer Federation. Um, the, the club started the South Australian League in 1971, initially known as uh, Grange Lion, and eventually changing to USC Lion in 1999. Uh, during the early 2000s the club had considerable success uh, reaching, uh, reaching Division 1 on Sundays and eventually joining Saturday League in 2016 in Division 3, uh, currently still playing in Division 1.
Uh, USC Lions a great place to play football. Uh, we have a very inclusive culture. Um, we try to get the balance between competitiveness on the pitch uh, with the social aspect of the game as well. Um, we're welcome for families, uh, kids, and it's a great place for uh, a feed on a match day and uh, we uh, try to have fun with all the family. Our goals for the club moving forward are to continue to improve on the pitch, uh, keep up our club culture, and most importantly, strive for competitiveness and titles across all the greats. Yeah, going into today's game, we've had a strong pre-season, so looking forward to a good game and hopefully bringing the three points. Yeah, so the history of the Adelaide Titans, um, we actually just celebrated our 20th year anniversary. Um, so we were, yeah, well, that'd make it, it'd make it 2003 um, that it was founded. And um, yeah, we've gone from strength to strength in the last 20 years. It's a wonderful club to be a part of, right? The, the camaraderie between all four grades is huge. Um, our, everyone talks about our food and how wonderful it is, the culture um, that the Titans bring. Um, it's a beautiful club to play for. We've got a lot of uh, talented boys on our roster, and, and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, you, you, got, you look forward to going to training every Tuesday and Thursday night and then coming out and showcasing on a Saturday. So one of the big goals for the Titans for this season specifically is uh, the development of our youth program. Um, so we've got uh, the Mini Roos kicking off this year. We've got uh, three grades where we are having juniors and that's a big part of uh, where we want to take the club. Um, I'm actually fortunate enough to coach one of the little little tackers in the teams. So I'm really looking forward to that. And um, yeah, we just want to continue to, to grow the Titan way, continue to um, build more and more teams and just really grow that culture. I'm really excited for today's game actually. It's uh, been a long time coming. We've had a long pre-season. Uh, we've had some really good results in the, in the lead up to it. Um, but you know, you got that itch and you really want to just hit the ground running in, in round one. So, um, you know, we come here to do a job. It's an away game, business trip, uh, get the three points and then we'll move on. So looking forward to it. Well, 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 well. My word is that man well spoken. In that lighting too, the sun glistening, palm trees behind him, palm fronds rather. And I don't know if you noticed, amateurs, a little bit of a kite in the background. It was, wow, that was really, really soothing. And I'm, I feel great. I feel really good. And that's us done, amateurs. Some new content for you. Thank you, Matt Peel, as ever. Um, very enjoyable episode. We'll be back next week covering the round two action. It's going to be huge. Some bounces back needed by some people myself, my, my boys. Um, and yeah, some people are going to go into great things. So I look forward to seeing how everyone plays this weekend. We'll be back next week. We'll be getting some guests in the pod soon. And amateurs, listen, don't, don't, uh, don't go chasing waterfalls and don't go missing out on the pod. I know some people have come up to me in the past and said, oh, why didn't, why didn't you, you know, why can't we come on the pod? My good friends, you can all come on the pod. There's room for all. Just let me know. Send me a message. We'll book it. We'll sort it out. Come on, you can share your insights, share everything that's so great about your beautiful club. And yeah, so uh, let me know and we'll get it done. Thank you very much, amateurs. Auf Wiedersehen. Adios. Das Vidanya. Sayonara. Hot Zienz. Do Pobachenia. Antiosas. Tom Viet. Chevasti. And finally, Swatol Mal for our Burmese contingent. Cheers, amateurs.